right yes now i'm okay okay so let's get started nice to meet you everyone online um i know some of you have uh, been to my training in china um can you write the message if you have already been to my training in china i've done a lot of offline trainings can you hear the echo is the echo gone oh, okay so um xian yes so you've been to my training in xian anyone else jinan yes shanghai wow. wow so you've yeah you've you came to my trainings before that's very good and uh where are you now I know some of you are in Jinan. Anyone from um, other places like Beijing, Shanghai, Fuzhou, Changchun? Wow, you are from all over China. So thank you very much for coming to my online training. Um, sorry about the technical problems. Now I think we are all okay. So let's get started. Now I'm here in Korea and um, I'm at my office now. Well, this is a meeting room at eFuture. And um, yeah, I think we are all good now. So let's get started. Are you ready to start? You might want to grab a pen, a pencil and a piece of paper maybe because we'll um, draw an idea web later on. So if you want to draw an idea web, you might want to get your pen and a piece of paper. But you don't really have to, right? If you really want to. Okay, so here we go. So today's topic is writing. Okay, writing is important. Everybody agrees on that, right? But why is writing important? Can you tell me why is writing important? Yes, writing is one of the four fundamental skills, right? Listening, speaking, reading, writing, we all need these four skills, right? So writing is one of the skills that we have to learn, okay? And writing is more active than reading, okay? When we talk about literacy, some people only think of reading, but writing is also literacy, okay? Reading and writing is literacy, and writing is as important as reading. Okay, do you agree? And writing is more active than reading because writing is an act, a productive skill, right? You have to produce. You have to use your knowledge to produce something. So writing is more active than reading. And um, reading and writing is even more important in the digital age, okay? We are um, living in the digital age and reading and writing is getting more and more important and creativity and critical thinking um, is also important because through writing you can promote creativity and critical thinking okay and uh, you also need to practice communicate clearly through writing right and you also have to organize your ideas and you can express your opinion through writing that's why writing is important, right? It's a very, very important skill. Okay, do you agree? Yes? Okay, if I go too fast, please let me know. Uh, sometimes I go really fast if I get excited. And then please tell me, then I'll slow down. Okay, how's my speed now? Is my speed okay? Okay. So we all agree that writing is important and it's one of the most important skills. Right. But writing is difficult. Do you feel this way? Does your student feel like this? Right. If you ask your student to write something, do they feel like this? Yes. Right. Yes, I can see a lot of answers. Yes, yes, right. Okay, so writing is difficult. Uh, let me tell you a story about myself, okay? 
I've been studying Chinese. Uh, it's been um, almost two years now, I think. Um, but I try to do it like um, 10 minutes every day um, on my subway train. When I go home or when I come to work, I try to um, study Chinese. Um, I use a mobile app to study. And because I spend only about 10 minutes, 20 minutes a day, um, it's not improving a lot. But I'm trying, right? So last year, I tried um, a Chinese test. Do you know about this um, test? Hai Ye Xue Ping Kao Shi. HSK. Yes, HSK. How's my Chinese pronunciation? Can you understand? <laughs> right. So can you look at my report? This is the report that I got after the test. Okay, it's level three. Um, there are six levels and I'm um, at level three and I have, you know, long way to go, right, to get level six. But anyway, can you look at my score? My score is here. Can you look at um, this one? Listening, I got 92 out of 100. And I got 93 out of 100 for reading. But writing, can you look at my writing? I got only 47. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Compared to 92, 93, right? My listening and reading, okay, but writing is not very good. But I passed the test. If you look at the total score, I got 232 out of 300. And the passing score is 180. So I passed the test, but my writing is not very good because writing is very difficult. Yes, what happened to my writing? Yes, I have to do more practice, right, to improve my writing. So, 写中文很难, 对吗? Yes, it's very, very difficult, right? Writing is difficult. So I'm just sharing my experience, okay? So, if I give you a piece of paper like this, and if I ask you to write something, how would you feel? Would you feel happy, sad? Number one, happy face. Number two, sad face. How would you feel? Sad or angry, frustrated. Anyone happy? Too much pressure. Yes, I see a lot of number two. Okay, <laughs> right. So I will not do this today. I'm not going to ask you to write something today, right? Um, if you do this to your student, right? If you give a piece of paper to your student and ask your student to write something, your student probably feel the same, right? They'll be worried. They'll be frustrated, right? I don't think many students will be happy about writing something, right? Especially instantly like this. Okay, so write about your favorite character. If I ask you a question like this, right? What, what do you do first? What are the first thing that comes into your mind? You have to think about the topic, right? Favorite character. So do you are uh, terrified? <laughs> okay. So um, do you have a favorite character? Anyone? It can be a movie character or um, a story character or book character, drama character. Any of you watch Korean drama? It can be your favorite Korean drama character. Okay, so what's your favorite character? It can be Spider-Man or Harry Potter or Monkey King, Lion King or Batman, right? You have to think about the topic first, right? You have to choose the topic. And choosing the topic, that's also very difficult, right? Right, and once you choose your topic, once you choose your favorite character, there are many other things that you have to think about. That's why writing is difficult. 
Oh, Batman. Oh, Harry Potter. A Wonder Woman. Oh, okay. Iron Man. Yeah, I see a lot of characters. Right. Doctor Stranger. Okay, good, good. So you have your char favorite characters. Okay, so why is writing so difficult? Because you have to think about a lot of things in order to write. You have to have your topic, right? You have to choose your topic, and then you have to learn the words, and you need a grammar, and you have to learn the expressions, and you need the ideas. You have to organize your ideas, and you also have to know the writing structures and writing styles. Okay, there are so many things that you have to know and you have to learn and you have to think about when you write. That's why writing is so difficult. Okay, do you agree? Okay, so how can we make it uh, not so difficult? Okay, that's what I'm going to tell you today. If you feel like this, writing is difficult to teach, maybe you can uh, learn something from today's training and maybe you can try something um, when you teach your students today or tomorrow. Okay, so do you feel like this when you teach writing? How many of you teach writing? How many of you teach writing? I guess some of you teach writing, some of you don't. Okay, okay, some of you do, some of you don't. Right? Okay. So writing is not difficult. Just follow the six steps. So I'm going to tell you about the six steps, right? Six easy to follow steps. Writing is fun and easy if you follow these six steps. Okay? And at the end of this training, maybe you'll be happy, right? Like the happy face, number one. Okay? So let's find out whether you'll be like number one or number two. Happy face or sad face or angry face. Okay? So maybe at the end of the training, you can send me the, I don't know, happy face or sad face. Okay, let's find out. So what are those six steps? Here we are, six steps to writing. So I have from step one to step six on the slide. Okay, um, shall we read this together? Even though I cannot hear you, maybe you can read this aloud together with me. Okay, ready? Let's read it together. Step one, warm up. Step two, word practice. Step three, grammar practice. Step four, sentence writing practice. Step five, organizing ideas. Step six, final writing. Okay, so please remember these six steps. I'm going to ask you a question at the end of the training. Okay, so you have to remember these. Now, let's start with step one. Okay, so step one, warm up. So at this stage, at the warm up stage, you introduce the writing topic and you present a model passage and then check comprehension. So these are the things that you need to do um, at warm-up stage. Okay, can you see a model passage in blue? Right, highlighted in blue, because this is very, very important. When you ask your students to write something, it's, uh, it's a very good idea to present a model passage so that students have some kind of idea what they are going to write. Okay, if you just tell them to write something, they have no idea what they are going to write. Okay, so it's good to see the model passage. So present the model passage. So here's my model passage. Okay, what's the topic? What's the topic of today's lesson? My favorite character. Okay, 
So that's the title, my very character. And this is my model passage. Okay, so when students see this, they have the idea. Ah, this is what I'm going to write. Okay, I'm going to write something like this. This is the model that I want to follow. Okay, so give them that uh, guideline first. Okay, so let's do some picture walk. Can you see the pictures there? What can you see there? Can you see Harry Potter? Right, and his two friends? Yes? Okay, so uh, what's Harry Potter wearing? What are they wearing? They are wearing black coat, right? Yes, four kids and three of them are wearing black coat, right? Yes, and look at Harry Potter. He has glasses, right? Can you see his glasses? What color are they? Yes, they're black, right? So he has black glasses. And he's holding something in his hand, right? What's he holding? He's holding a magic wand, right? Okay. And he's also wearing a scarf around his neck. Can you see that? Okay, so you can look at the picture and you can talk about the picture, right? To give some background knowledge before you actually start writing, right? And then you can present the model passage, okay? Yes, now um, I'll show you something um, interesting. Can you see this? Have you seen this wizard? Yes, that's me wearing Harry Potter's costume, right? Can you see the scarf around my neck? And I'm holding the magic wand, right? Yes, and I have um, glasses. Yes. Okay, so you can uh, present interesting pictures or um, uh, videos, right? To motivate the students, right? And then introduce the topic. Okay. Yes, I have the magic wand. Yes. Okay, so let's look at the model passage. Maybe you can read it together with me. Okay. So Harry Potter is my favorite character. He, she is a very interesting boy. So he or she. He or she. He, right? Harry Potter is he. Harry is or a wizard is or are is okay very good harry is a wizard he is smart and brave he has he have has black round glasses so have or has has so he has black round glasses he doesn't have parents he doesn't have brothers or sisters, but he has wonderful friends on at school. So which one? On or at? At. Okay, very good. So now we've looked at the model passage, right? And we've looked at the picture, right? So we understand the story, right? So let me read the story one more time. Harry Potter is my favorite character. He is a very interesting boy. Harry is a wizard. He is smart and brave. He has black round glasses. He doesn't have parents. He doesn't have brothers or sisters. But he has wonderful friends at school. Okay? Understand the story? So maybe we can uh, check the comprehension. Check true or false. Okay, are you ready to do this? Yes? Number one, Harry is a wizard. True or false? True. Okay, very good. Number two, Harry has a sister. True or false? False. Good. Number three, 
Harry has wonderful friends. True or false? True. Okay, very good. Very good. Yeah, I can see some answers. Yes, very good. Okay, so we've looked at the model passage. Okay, now we know what we are going to write. Okay, and we've uh, looked at the passage and we understand the story. Right? And we have our topic. Right? The topic is the fairy character. Okay, so this is step one. This is the warm up stage. Okay? Now let's move on to step two. What's step two? Word practice. Okay? Now we know what we are going to write. Okay? And we need the words. Right? So let's do some word practice. So for step two, you introduce useful words and expressions that are related to the writing topic. And then practice the words in the context. Okay, so this is very important. Practice the words in the context. Okay, if you isolate the words, right? if you take the words out of the context, then it gets very difficult, right? You need a context to understand the words. So try to uh, practice the words in the context. So how do we do this? Now let's look at this. So these are the new words for today. Okay, let's read the words together. Brave, pretty, smart, round, strong, tiny, costume, stepmother, hair, friends, skin, wand. Okay, so we have our new words. So these words are necessary when you write uh, a story about characters, right? That's why we chose these words, okay? So you need to teach the words that are related to the topic of the writing, okay? Now let's look at the context. Now we provide the context using the pictures. Okay, can you look at number one? Hermione, that's Harry Potter's friend, right? So Hermione is, and you can choose one word from the words given, right? So which word? You can choose any word you want, okay? And maybe I can choose brave. Hermione is brave, okay? Or you can choose pretty. Hermione is pretty. Or you can choose smart, right? She's very smart. Or you can choose strong. Yes, Hermione is strong. Okay. She has long red, yes, hair. Very good. She has long red hair. Okay. So you practice using the words in the sentence, in the context. Okay, and let's look at number two. Spider-Man is, okay, which word? Which word do you want to choose? Spider-Man is strong. Yes, you can choose strong. Or Spider-Man is brave. Yes. Spider-Man is pretty. Mm, maybe. Okay, so you can choose the words and practice the words in the sentence. Next sentence is, he has a blue and red, what? He has a blue and red, what? Costume, right? He has a blue and red costume. Okay, so you can choose the words and use the words in the sentence and practice making the sentence using the word. Okay, and it's important to have the context. Okay, get the idea? Yes, costume, very good. So you have some um, answers there. Strong, brave, costume, costume. Okay, very good. Maybe you can try one more. Okay, let's look at number three. Tinkerbell is... Which word? Tinkerbell is pretty, yes. Tinkerbell is tiny. Okay, that's a good word. Tinkerbell is tiny. Okay, she has a magic wand, right? She has a magic wand. Can you see the magic wand on her hand? She's holding a magic wand. 
okay so you keep practicing the uh, words like this so this is and i have more practice okay so you need to have a lot of practice using the words so learn the words and use the words in the context okay so that's step two okay now we can move on to step three remember step one we had warm up right we present the model passage and step two we practice the words now step three grammar practice you have the words now you have to put the words together to make the sentence right that's why you need grammar so let's do some grammar practice so step three grammar practice introduce the grammar points related to the topic and practice the grammar points and practice making meaningful and grammatically correct sentences okay so introduce the grammar that's related to the topic okay and the third the third one is very important practice making meaningful and grammatically correct sentences okay so lots of practice with grammar right but there are so many different um, grammar points right you cannot teach all the grammar that's why you have to choose the ones that's related to the topic okay now grammar practice so because the topic is favorite character right we are talking about our favorite character we need have or has right because we are talking about the character the, the character has something right so have or has again grammar is present, presented in the context right we always have the picture right so let's look at number one there's a girl right number one she have or has long hair have or has has very good she has long hair right and number two can you look at number two there's a car and um, two people standing in front of the car. So number two, they have or has? Have, yes, they have a new car. Okay, now number three, can you see the boy? He have or has? Has, yes, he has a soccer ball. Okay, so you practice using have or has okay let's do one more mm, let's look at number six can you see two rabbits there number six okay the rabbit have or has because two rabbits the rabbits have long ears okay very good yeah i can see some correct answers there have 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 very good okay the rabbits have long ears so you practice using have or has in the sentence okay this is the grammar that's needed when you write about the character okay now let's do some more grammar practice okay we have subject verb and others okay can you look at the subject circle we have i john they right look at the verb section have has is and look at others two brothers a new bike and smart okay now let's look at number one i can make one two three sentences with i now i'll give you five seconds right so make sentences using i how many sentences can you make? Okay, I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, how many sentences? I can see two, two. Okay, so let's try. I have two brothers, right? You can make one sentence, right? I have two brothers. I have a new bike, right? That's another sentence. So you can make two sentences, right? Anything else? No, that's it, right? Just two sentences. I have two brothers and I have a new bike. Okay, very good. 
Now, number two, I can make one to three sentences with John. Now, I'll give you five seconds so you can make sentences using John. Okay, how many sentences can you make? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, how many sentences? Three, two, three. Oh, I see all these different answers. Okay, let's try. John has two brothers. Right, that's one sentence. John has a new bike. Right, two sentences. John is smart. Three sentences. Right? Can you make more sentences? No, just three sentences, right? Okay, very good. Now, uh, let's move on to number three. I can make one to three sentences with they. Okay, how many sentences can you make with they? I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, how many? Two, 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 two. Okay, let's try. They have two brothers. That's one sentence. They have a new bike. Two sentences. Anything else? No, just two sentences, right? Okay, so you can make, uh, you can practice making sentences um, doing something like this, right? So this is a very good practice because you will have to make sentences. Right? You are actually making sentences using the words. Okay, it's a very good practice. So this is grammar, right? So we have the words and we practice the grammar. Now we can move on to the next step. Oh, if you want, you can do extra practice because grammar, uh, you might have to do more practice. Okay, so practice using have, has, or practice uh, using, uh, you can do some activities as well, right? Uh, I forgot about this activity. Okay, I can show you this um, writing activity that I like. This is my, uh, one of my favorite activities. Okay, this is, um, this is better if you actually have the word cards right and then make sentences so you can cut up the sentences right and have students make sentences so you can give the words and you can maybe um time okay i'll give you five seconds you'll have to make three sentences okay and then they'll unscramble and then make um, the sentences so here they have three sentences Okay, but because we are online, we cannot actually do this activity together. That's why I have the online version. Okay, so you can try cut up sentences um, online version. So I'll show you some word card. You have to make the sentences. Okay, are you ready to do this activity? Yes, okay, here we go. Make two sentences. I'll give you five seconds. Five four, three, two, one. Okay, did you make the sentences? Yes? Yes, two sentences. You'll have to make two sentences. Right? Can you give me some answers? She is pretty. Yes, very good. She's pretty. Yes, one more sentence. You have to make two sentences. She has a pretty stepmother. Oh, yes, but that's a gr grammatically correct. But think about the meaning. <laughs> stepmother is bad. Ah, uh, yes, you can make the sentence. But you have to think about the grammar, right? How do you start the sentence? You need a subject, right? And you also need a capital letter when you start the sentence. Cinderella has a bad stepmother. Okay, very good. Yes, she has a bad stepmother. Yes, very good. Very good. Yeah, I can see some good answers now. Now, I'll give you the answers, right? So, two sentences. Cinderella is pretty. She has a bad stepmother. Okay, do you all have this? Okay, very good. Yes, you can exchange Cinderella with she, right? That's fine. She is pretty. Cinderella has a bad stepmother. That's fine. Okay? But you'll have to look at the, the subject, right? Cinderella, she. 
and then make sure you put the full stop right the period at the end of the sentence right that's also important okay so this is a very good practice you can cut up the sentences and you know do the hands-on activity or you can do the online version like this okay it's a fun activity you can do with your students and it's a very good uh, sentence building game okay now let's move on to um, step four okay so we did the warm-up we looked at the model sentence model passage and then we've got the words right and we practice the grammar now step four is sentence writing practice okay so step four sentence writing practice use the information in the ideal web practice writing complete sentences and practice sentence building skills okay so we'll be using an ideal web do you use ideal web in your class yes okay it's a um it's a very good way right you can organize your ideas using an ideal web so here we are we have um, the ideal web what's in the middle we have the favorite character right cinderella that's the favorite character. And this is just an example, right? We are presenting the model um, idea web. Remember, at step one, we presented the model passage, right? So here, we do the same thing. We present the example, okay? So students can look at this, and then they can create their own idea web later on, okay? So for Cinderella, let's look at number one. What's number one? my favorite character okay and you can make a sentence using my favorite character and cinderella using is okay so here you are practicing making sentences my favorite character is cinderella okay number two what's number two pretty okay so pretty can you make a sentence um, using pretty she is pretty number three a bad stepmother okay so here do you use is or has right we did a lot of practice with grammar using is has right so she has a bad stepmother okay number four two bad stepsisters so she has two bad stepsisters Number five, animal friends. She has animal friends. Number six, glass shoes. She has glass shoes. Okay, so you have the idea web, right? And then you practice making sentences using is or has. Okay? Now, you just have to write the sentences. Right, you've already made the sentences using the um, idea web. So it's easy to make the sentences, easy to write the sentences here, right? Number one, remember number one, my favorite character is Cinderella. And number two, she is pretty. Number three, she has a bad stepmother, right? So you just have to write the sentences here. Okay? Very easy, right? easy yes do you have smiley face right okay that's good now you can do some extra practice right if you think your students need more practice making sentences right you can do more practice so look at this one this is Winnie the Pooh uh, there are some clues under the picture right Winnie the Pooh big bear cute three good friends so you can make sentences like Winnie the Pooh is my very character. He is a big bear. He is cute. He has three good friends. Okay. So now we can move on to step five. And step five is organizing ideas okay so here students can do their own idea web okay we've seen the examples right so now they can do their own uh, idea web 
So organize ideas using the idea web and provide World Bank to support the development of ideas. So here you have your own idea web. Okay. Remember at the beginning of the training session, I said maybe you need a pen and a piece of paper if you want to draw your own idea web. Now, here's your chance, right? You can draw your own idea web like this, right? Quickly draw uh, one, two, three, four, five, six circles and a square in the middle. So you can draw your own idea web quickly. Okay. Okay, there's a question. Do we provide a plain idea web to let students fill in or we just give them the complete one? Just let them practice the sentence. Okay, so you can present the example first and then they get to do it by themselves. Okay, that will answer your que uh, question. So here they can, uh, this is their chance to do their own idea web. They've seen the example, so now they can do it by themselves. Okay, so you can provide a word bank. Okay, but we've practiced all these words before, right? Remember brave, pretty, round, smart, strong, tiny, costume, friends, hair, skin, stepmother, and wand. We've learned all these words, right? So they can do their own idea web. Now they just have to choose their favorite character. Okay, my favorite character is Batman. So I'll choose Batman, right? But you can choose your own character. Okay, if you want to um, draw your own idea web, choose the character that you like, right? And put the character in the middle. But my favorite character is Batman. See, um, I visited uh, Warner Brothers studio to see Batman. And can you see this car? There was an uh, exhibition of all these fancy bad cars and that was fantastic. Anyway, my favorite character is Batman. So, this is my idea web, okay? So, my favorite character is Batman. Strong, brave, a black mask, a black car, and a good friend. Okay, that's my idea web. You can do your own idea web, right? Is anyone doing it now? Yes, are you doing your own idea web? It's a pity that I cannot see your own idea web right but um, maybe i don't know you can send it to me later or something like that right so you can do your own idea web so here we are this is my own idea web now what do we have to do we have to do the final writing right because here i have all my ideas right i just have to put them together make sentences and then to the writing, to the final writing. Yes, of course you can get my PPT. Yeah, I'll send you the PPTs. Okay, no problem. Because you'll have to remember these six steps, right? Okay, so final writing. Write the sentences about the topic using the information from the idea web. And draw a picture of the story to visualize your writing, right? It's good to draw some pictures. And then use the writing checklist. So here you are. You can do your final writing here, right? There is a space to write uh, a draw picture, right? So you draw the picture and then you write your story. And then there is a writing checklist, right? After writing, it's good to go through your own writing and revise it. Right, go through the checklist and um, revise your writing. So number one, my sentences begin with a capital letter. Number two, my sentences end with a period. Number three, my words are in the correct order. Okay, so it's good to have the checklist. And um, you can do more writing correction practice, right? Um, this can be done um, in pairs, right? You can pair up the students and then they can check each other's writing. If you have the checklist like this, right, they can go through the writing and uh, they can do the correction by themselves. Okay, so let's look at the checklist first. Writing checklist, number one, sentences begin with a capital letter. Number two, sentences end with a period. 
Number three, words are spaced out properly. And number four, words are spelled correctly. And number five, words are in the correct order. Okay, so you can look at the writing, maybe your friend's writing, okay, or on an activity like this. Look at the writing. My favorite character. Hermione is my favorite character. What's wrong with this sentence? There's something wrong with this sentence. What's wrong? Yes, H, right? That should be capital because it's the beginning of the sentence, right? You have to correct um, the H. It should be a capital letter, right? Second sentence, she is a wizard. What's wrong with this sentence? Spacing, right? She, space, is. You need the space there, right? And number three, she is pretty and smart. What's wrong with this? Spelling mistake, right? Pretty, P-R-E-T-T-Y, right? And so you can go through um, the writing and then um, correct the mistakes and then rewrite the story, right? This is a very good practice for students, okay? So remember this, my idea web. Now I can turn this into my final writing. My right? Batman. Batman is my very character. He's strong and brave. He has a black mask and he has a black car. He doesn't have parents, but he has a good friend. Okay, and that's my drawing. Okay, so this is the final writing. And students can do a presentation maybe when they finish their final writing, right? They can come to the front of the class, show their writing, and then do the presentation. So remember six steps? Can you remember all six steps? Yes? Yes. Let's go through six steps, okay? Step one, warm up. Step two, word practice. Step three, Grammar practice. Step four, sentence writing. Step five, organizing ideas. And step six, final writing. Right? So these are very easy to follow. Right? And um, it's not so difficult. Okay? So your student can improve their writing skills if you do it this way. Right? So what next? So, so far, We've talked about sentence writing. Right? This stage is very, very important because you need a strong foundation. Right? If you have the strong foundation, you can improve your writing skills. So you can move from sentence writing to paragraph writing and then to essay writing. Right? And if you have the strong foundation, that will lead you to academic success. Okay? Um, there are six steps, another six steps to essay writing, right? This, I won't talk about this today, but I just want to show you, right? So if we go back to the slide, right, we have sentence writing, paragraph writing, and then essay writing, right? Also, there are six steps to essay writing. And this is just to give you a taste, okay, what it's like after sentence writing, okay? So there are another six steps to essay writing. And you can uh, learn about the paragraph, right? Topic sentence, body sentence, and closing sentence. And you can write um, a paragraph. And you can um, develop your paragraph into an essay, right? So these, thing, these things uh, will come uh, at the end of, uh, after you practice a lot of sentence writing, then you can gradually move on to essay writing. Okay, this is, I just want to show you what comes next. Okay, maybe if we get a chance, maybe I can do a um, training on this, right? Maybe later on. So, um, enjoy writing and enjoy teaching writing. Do you have happy face? Do you have a big smile on your face? Or do you still have uh, angry face or sad face? Show me your face. Oh, I can see one happy face. Three happy faces. Lots of happy faces. Okay, that's very good. So please remember um, six steps. 
right? Can you go through all six steps in your head? Yes? Okay, very good. So remember six steps, and maybe you can uh, use those steps in your class today, right? If you're teaching today, try. Then you'll see how easy it is, right? So writing is not difficult. It can be fun and easy. So enjoy writing and enjoy teaching writing. All right, that's all for today. And um, there are two QR codes. One is for um, survey and the other one is uh, eFuture QR code. Okay, so um, I'll send you the PPT files. And um, if you have any questions, you can ask me questions. Okay, uh, because we started late, I'll be staying here for a while. If you have any questions, you can leave your questions on the um, chatting window. And so that's all for today. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you learned something uh, useful. Okay, and be happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, I get some flowers. Thank you. Well, lots of flowers. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. I'll stay here for a while so you can ask me questions. Okay, if you have any questions, you can leave the comments. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, if once students finish the writing, then um, they can do the revision. Okay, so idea web is to organize your ideas. Right. And then uh, you can write sentences using the idea web. So do that writing first and then do the revision. Right. You can go through the checklist. Right. And then you can write the revised uh, writing. There was a question about when to do the uh, revision. When should we start teaching writing? Um, you can start teaching writing. Um, when the students have the basic phonics skills, right? They should be able to read the words, right? Then they can start um, writing, right? So if you are using a course book or if you are using a grammar book, then you can do the writing together with that, okay? Once they have mastered the phonics skills and if they can read the words, right? Then you can start writing. Okay, but you have to go very slowly. Some teachers, you know, try to go really fast or for some books, right? If you look at some writing books, sometimes they go too fast. And if you go too fast, then it's just too difficult, right? You have to go very slowly, step by step. That's why we have this easy to follow six steps. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Can you turn PPT back step five? Okay, you want me to go back to step five? Okay, here's step five. Organize ideas using the idea web. And if you want, you can provide word bank to support the development of ideas, right? And uh, if your students are ready, if they feel confident, you can ask your students to use their own words, right? If they have, um, you know, a lot of words that they know, then they can use their own words. You can encourage them to do that at this stage. Okay, and I apologize for the um, technical problems that we had earlier at the beginning of the session. So sorry about that. And I hope you enjoyed my training. Thank you. Bye bye. I got a heart. Maybe I can give you a heart. <laughs> Here are my hearts. I can give you big hearts. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>